Chapter 8, Friday Night All night long the Martians were hammering and stirring, sleepless, indefatigable, at work upon the machines they were making ready. And ever and again, a puff of greenish-white smoke whirled up to the starlit sky. About eleven a company of soldiers came from Horsell and deployed along the edge of the common to form a cordon. Later, a second company marched through Shobham to deploy on the north side of the common. Several officers from the Inkerman barracks had been on the common earlier in the day, and one, Major Eden, was reported to be missing. The colonel of the regiment came to the Shobham bridge and was busy questioning the crowd at midnight. The military authorities were certainly alive to the seriousness of the business. About 11, the next morning papers were about to say a squadron of Hussars, two Maxims, and about 400 men of the Cardigan Regiment started from Aldershot. A few seconds after midnight, the crowd in the Chertsey Road, walking, saw a star fall from heaven into the pine woods to the northwest. It had a greenish color and caused a slight brightness like summer lightning. This was the second cylinder. Thank <laughs> you. 